Like other crop field soil samples featured in the Life in the Soil video series, this video features a farm that has employed no-till agricultural practices for over 20 years. A small amount of soil taken from near the root zone of these corn stalks is combined with distilled water in a specific ratio that, once settled, allows the viewer to prepare a clear microscope slide. Sometimes, especially when the soil is very fine, already saturated, or not given enough time to settle before pulling a water droplet for the slide, the first images are too overloaded to see specific organisms or fungi. As demonstrated here, even increasing the power of magnification doesn't always help. Other times, it may seem too crowded at first, but something catches the eye and magnification helps isolate the object like this algal filament. Yet these images, prepared from the same soil, provide a much clearer example of a similar filament. In addition to multiple samples, adding distilled water can dilute the sample enough to provide clear images. In the field, however, farmers don't have as many options to ensure that their streams and waterways remain clear. This farm uses native grass buffers enrolled in the Conservation Reserve Enhancement Program to control erosion and serve as a filter between the agricultural production acreage and the nearby stream. Here are a few images taken from a sample in the grass buffer. For a variety of reasons, it is not uncommon for grassland and woodland areas to have increased nematode populations, which makes it not surprising that we found a nematode in this sample. While it is more likely that this image is simply a twisted fungal strand, it looks like specific types of fungal hyphae that lure and capture nematodes using similar loops. Whether capturing nematodes or filtering runoff, the life in the soil is effective at keeping their own environments clean. To view the entire Life in the Soil video series, or to access additional soil health resources, visit www.capitalrcd.org. Thank you.